coming back to Philly, it's, it's more of a it's more of a family. Um, I spent most of my career there in minors and big leagues, so most of those guys that are on those teams I've played with, you know, for a long time. When they heard your name, the first thing they asked, Alex Rogers, because he was he was uh, a loved and respected coach for the Expos. They said, "This is Dad coming." Yeah, you know, Dawson, isn't that weird? Yeah, yeah. Dawson, Dawson, the first thing he said uh, when I saw him is, I knew Dad did it. They all asked him. Well, I don't think there's anybody that said anything bad about me. Yeah, that's one thing I don't that's And that's throughout baseball. I, I, I never heard anything, anybody say anything that bad about my dad. And by chance, my dad got to see my first base hit. In the big he league. was a coach for the Expos. Yes. Yeah. He got to see my first big league hit. Was there emotion? And this conversation. Yeah, like afterwards that? it was great. And then he, he, he not only saw my first big league hit, the, because the week before that, or the that the night I got called up, the Expos are in town. He got to see me in the field for the first time. I didn't even play too much organized ball because I was always moving around. And uh, so once I got in high school. I ended up playing on the team, high school team that I played some summer ball, and I never pretty much finished any of the summer ball leagues because I ended up going to San Francisco where I go there and take batting practice and, you know. With the Giants. With the Giants. <laughs> so I go there real early and, and I go shag fly balls and that was kind of what my life was and I got to see all these players come through as far as um, being in the clubhouse and everything, it was a treat. Um, Barry Bonds was there, you know, we used to As play a kid? Catch. Yeah. We used to play catch. We used to go shag fly balls in the field, so. You're how old now? I mean, 56. So he was a little bit younger, younger. than you? Mm -hmm. two, yeah. two future uh, Major League All-Stars as kids in the same in clubhouse. It's a lot. That's that's pretty, pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> was there someone that was instrumental in making you a better catcher? Yeah. Well, I, I think it was Andy Semenik. Really, former catcher? Yeah, he was in, uh, during instructional league, he was one of the catchers, or one of the instructors. And the thing about Semenik, he's, they had a pitcher in spring training, and they have Andy Semenik standing over home plate, and there's a guy laid out behind him. It's pretty impressive, or memorable to see that. Because you know he taught you how to protect yourself a little bit, get your shot so you don't get hurt. I'm kind of like old school. So you, you got to stay in there and let the guy kill you. You you can't give up the, the winning run, especially in the World Series or playoffs. You got to stay there and take the hit. Yeah. You, know, you just can't. Oh lay it. Oh oh well they lost the game. And it's, I I did it in the All Star game. Me and Winfield hooked up. And we ended up winning the game because I blocked the plate and, and took a hit. Do you realize your first month in the big leagues, you got champagne being sprayed at you? That's what we did. That was <laughs> that's a, crazy. That was that. That's what it was. That was a, probably one of the most incredible thing. People wait a long time to do that. Once you get into the World Series, come at the, the intensity is different. You're once you show up there, you do all that work to get there, and then it's kind of like more laid back. When you played to, just as a September call-up in '80, did you get a ring? Or the no. That's a good question. I didn't know. <laughs> Give us our ring. We were on the team. Yeah. But they gave everybody else rings. There's five of us. They only had to get five more rings to get a while. We didn't get the rings.